Hi everyone, welcome to JLabs. In this video, we are going to talk about the concepts of interruption in a microcontroller. If you haven't done so, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Have you ever noticed that when you press the home button of your cell phone when it is idle, the screen turns on? That is a simple example of an interrupt. Basically, an interrupt is an event that interrupts the current flow of the system in order to execute your request. In the case of the cell phone, its current state is idle. When the home button is pressed, an interrupt is issued to the system to wake it up and to turn on the display. The action of depressing the home button is an external interrupt. Normally, an MCU executes instructions one after another that you define in your main program. When an interrupt occurs, the MCU halts the execution of instruction in your main program, saves its current state, so it can reload it later and then proceeds to the interrupt service routine appropriate for the interrupt that occurred. When the entire interrupt routine is executed, it then exits the ISR, holds back the state of the main program it saved earlier, and then continues the execution of the main program. Depending on the microcontroller, there are different sources available to trigger an interrupt. We have timer interrupts, external hardware interrupt, serial communication interrupts, to name a few. The types of interrupt sources vary from the peripherals available in an MCU, which you can read from the MCU's datasheet. Interrupts occur for different events, and these events or situations in which the interrupts occur are chosen by the programmer. The timer can be set to count down to zero, and when it does, an interrupt can occur. Or you can set the CCP module to compare values, and if it is the same as your intended value, an interrupt can occur. Your limit as to what modules you can use and the types of interrupt is your MCU. Whenever an interrupt occurs, the MCU completes the execution of the current instruction and then starts the execution of an interrupt service routine or ISR or interrupt handler. An ISR is a routine that is assigned to be executed specifically for that particular interrupt event. A pointer to its address is assigned to the interrupt vector table, which holds every single ISR for all the interrupts, so that when an interrupt occurs, depending on the type of interrupt, it will automatically jump to the specific member of the interrupt vector table and then jump to the address of the ISR. So what type of peripheral interrupts are you trying to implement in your project? Please let us know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.